this patient is definitely candidate for a new therapy, and a new therapy is, in fact, ruxolitinib, which is a targeted therapy for what is abnormal in polycythemia vera. We know that in polycythemia vera, we have hyperactive intracellular signaling pathway called JAKSAT pathway, which is active in most of the patients because of the JAK2 mutation. Now, ruxolitinib does not act on a mutation. It's not a JAK2 mutation-driven drug. The consequence of a mutations in a JAK2 gene are increased activities of a JAKSAT pathway in the bone marrow cells. And this is a JAK inhibitor, JAKAFI or ruxolitinib is a JAK inhibitor. So it inhibits the hyperactive intercellular signaling pathway, and that leads to a decrease in the cell growth, decrease in inflammation that comes with the disease, that leads to improvement in the quality of life, control of the counts, and obviously possible, and we have heard early hints that that's possible, decrease in thromboembolic events.